nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. getting out from back home. My father sends me one almost every week. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former minister for magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at your service. I believe you can help solve a decades old murder thanks to that book you found and, in particular, it's missing pages. How do you know about the book? And the pages? We portraits here more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day, and the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? A boy disappeared with those pages, but they never found the body. A girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great-niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great-niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. A star pupil here, and then an exemplary servant to the Ministry. And her spark hasn't diminished one bit in her retirement. She and I often chat about old cases and our glory days. No offense, but it's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut short by dragon pox. I was sneezing sparks to the bitter end. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. I shall see you there. Soon, I hope. It's me, Gareth. Do you have a Levioso. Good black children are too young to... Revelio. I'd hate it if my father was headmaster. He was in a mood.
Revelio. If only Black had the power to fool the other professors. Revelio. Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Revelio. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Revelio. Accio. Careful. 
Revelio. I've never seen a sword like it. Accio. <laughs> I won't rest until you're dead. Accio. You only have Ran Revelio. One of the best meals I've ever eaten. Hmm. Someone there. I will make you pay. <laughs> Revelio. This must be the place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Very generous. Thank you. This might be enough. Shane Bardolph thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Seems a pleasant enough little place. Ah, here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. Madam Thistlewood, I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldritch believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after going to meet a girl named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least, that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. 
Anne insisted that Jack Daw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jagdor's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jagdor's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust, and she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Oh, what a horrible story. Well, if you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. You are to be commended for your kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired Aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Daw and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Do take care now, and tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. Thank you for the warning. This really is a dismal place, but we'll be out of here soon enough. Now follow me. Do keep your wits about you. Oh, I never thought I'd see the inside of Azkaban for myself. Nasty Dementors. Not even I could convince the Ministry to send them off. There's no need for such monsters. Careful around, Anne. She's been here a lot longer than the rest of us. If I had my wand, I'd cast Crucio on the lot of you! You don't scare me, young cur. They teach you so little of what you should know at Hogwarts. That 
witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to me? Is that death finally come for me? I'm a student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Methinks the feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, hogs, field, field, ruins house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, know you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. What is it, Anne? You're hurt. Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be all right once I get... But Madame Thistlewood, I... Oh, all right, I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave.